Well, now that the tractor rolls, I want to be able to steer it. So here's the next parts I'm going to work on. And the first thing to do is clean them. Now this steering wheel has some different types of dirt and grunge on it. So my first step in cleaning this is just to spray it down with WD-40 and see how much of it I can wipe off. There's supposed to be a bushing in here, but they were made out of plastic, so most of them were either half worn out or completely missing. So what I have here is a brass bushing. Now I had to turn down the outside a little bit to get it to fit into this hole. I want to be able to push it in there but I didn't really want it to turn so it's a nice snug fit now the flange on the bushing has to go on the underside because when you put this whole assembly together the set collar keeps everything in position it keeps the bushing seated in the top and it keeps the gear seated downward where it needs to be. So I'm going to put grease all over everything again so I can put it together here. I'm expecting to have to take this back out sometime before I'm done so I'm gonna put it together with a bolt instead of the roll pin it's not gonna be a tight fit but it's temporary
if you care which way the spokes in your steering wheel are pointed this is your chance to fix it so you can just lift this up and rotate it to where it needs to be before you tighten up the set collar Alright, that looks pretty good. But there seems to be a lot of excessive movement here in these gears. If you move this shaft back and forth, you can see where a lot of the movement's coming from. If you look underneath, you can see that same amount of movement. So what I need to do is add some washers underneath that cotter pin so that it holds the shaft towards the rear of the tractor. So I found two washers here the right diameter and the thickness of both of them combined just barely fits in this gap behind the cotter pin. So I'm going to put these in there. When I put this together I didn't bend the cotter pin because I expected to have to make this adjustment. Alright, I gotta put grease on them, of course. So I have four washers here. Three of them are about the same thickness, and one of them's a little thicker. So I'm going to put the thickest one towards the cotter pin. Well, that should be the final adjustment on that. So I'm going to go ahead and bend one leg of the cotter pin here. Alright, that looks good. It's not too tight. Nothing's binding anywhere. I got the full range of motion. I think that'll work. Alright, the next thing I want to do here is put the lift cable on. The lift cable that was on this tractor was not usable. One of the ends was completely gone. The end of the cable was frayed. So I found this one on the shelf. I think it's the correct length. So I'm going to clean that up and use it.
So this just goes through this slot here. And pretty much lays on top of the transmission. I'm going to connect the front part first. So I got a new little cotter pin. And I like to have a washer behind it. This cotter pin's a little bit long. But I'm just going to cut the legs off. the back part pretty much identical just because that's how I thought it should be done the outer part of this cable will get clamped in place when the toolbox goes on That works pretty nicely, and I don't have to worry about my hitch dragging the ground anymore. Well, that's as far as I'm going this time, and that's what it looks like. Alright, that's it.